Okay, here's my piano tutorial for People Can't Stop Chillin' by Sports. First, I'll play it all the way through so you know what it will sound like once you learn it. Okay, here we go. One thing to remember is that this song takes place in F sharp major. So every note except B is a sharp. So like when I refer to A, I mean A sharp. C is C sharp. Even E, which is an F natural in this key because the sharp is one up. So when I say E, it's actually F natural. Even on this sheet, I wrote the uh, Fs the F naturals as E's, just for consistency. And I'll, um, I'll scan this sheet and put a link in the description. It will probably help to print it off and have it in front of you. Um, it doesn't have any of the timings, just the notes to play, but it's a simple enough song that this works, and if you know the song, you really don't need the timings. So at least that will tell you what to play. If I do get around to typing it up on the computer, then I'll put the timings in and the bars. I'll update the link, but for now, this should be enough to learn it. I'm going to break it up into five parts, five different riffs. Uh, the first is the intro. Here is the right hand. So that's A, C, D, F. F, C, B, F, A, G. Again, F sharp. Everything is a sharp except for B. So. And the left hand. For the whole song, actually, it's only four chords. So once you get these four chords down, you can pretty much play the whole left hand part. The first is F, A, and C, D, F, and A, B, D, and F, and then C, E sharp, which is an F natural, and G. So for the intro, you just hold them. So together. And you do it twice. And now, uh, riff number two goes like this. So 
So it's F G A G A G A C D high A G A C D A G F D C the back up to G. And then the left hand, uh, those four chords again, just bouncing on them. And then when you hold that high A, you just hold that fourth chord for as long as you hold that high A. And then back. And the fourth chord you play three times, the second time through. So together, just like that. Okay, so riff number three is very similar to the intro. Except now, you jump up an octave, you play both notes with your thumb and your pinky on that C. So C, B natural, F, A, G, and left hand is the four chords again, three times each. Okay, and together very slowly. So now, riff number four is the same as riff number two, as in you go like this, except now you continue to be stretching across an octave. So play the same thing just with your pinky added in an octave uh, on top. And here when you get to the high A you do something called a tremolo, tremolo I believe, and you just bounce on the two notes there. Back, hit it again, C, D, A, G, F, D, C, G, F. The left hand on riff number four is just the four chords again. And when you do that tremolo, you just hold the fourth one. And you do the four again, three times each. And now together. And then the outro, riff number five, is uh, very repetitive. You do, you just, again, you're stretching across the octave and you play A, and then go down to G, A three more times, back to G, A three more times, and then G, A, G, F, and then you do the whole thing again. And then it just, they just fade out. And 
and the left hand, very simple. The four chords, three times each. So together, it um, goes like this. That's it. That's the whole song. So now we'll play it all the way through, once again very slowly so that you can see how everything goes together. And that's it. So I just put together that quick ending. I find that as long as you end on the F sharps, it sounds good. Because it's hard to fade out, so. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.